Welcome back. In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to show you several things regarding the TCP IP commands. And I'll also demonstrate some of the basic commands so you can actually see what these commands do. So, for example, if you were to run network diagnostic, basic diagnostics on your network, which commands are helpful? Before we get into the actual commands, it's important to know the port numbers. The IP address provides the connection to the correct machine, right? Your PC, your laptop, or your server. And it cannot distinguish the different service that is required. So the port number is primarily used to distinguish the application. And it's a value from 0 to 65,535. Some of the common port numbers are listed. For example, the file transfer protocol, which is the FTP, is port 20 or 21. The telnet is port 23. Telnet is used to connect to a remote machine. Port 25 is your simple mail transfer protocol. This port number is used when you use your email, for example. Port 53 is DNS, the domain name service. Port 80 is the World Wide Web. So when you're browsing the internet, for example, using your browser, we use port 80. So all data essentially is routed through port 80. Similarly, port 110 is your post office protocol, POP3. Port 144 is your news and port 6000 X windows and so on. But these are the common ones that you'll come across. So here are the basic TCP IP commands that I'll demonstrate. First is the ping command. I'll also show you the IP config. And then the important one is the tracert command. What is the ping command all about? So the ping is a basic internet program that simply allows a user to verify that a specific IP address, for instance, exists and can accept requests or not. And we use the ping is simply checking to see whether it's a valid IP address or not. And it's used diagnostically to ensure that a host computer the user is trying to reach is actually operating. The IP config command is a command line tool used to control the network connections on your Windows machines. Primarily, there are three main commands, the IP config, and then we use the forward slash all. We can also use the IP config forward slash release and renew as well. And what this does is simply shows you the actual configuration of your IP network. If you were to use the release or the renew commands, what that would do is simply obtain a new IP address from the server. So it's going to release the existing assigned IP address to your computer. And then you will request the server to give you a new IP address just to make sure that your connections are valid and not. So it's a good diagnostic tool as well. Then we have the tracert command. This is simply a utility that records the actual route through the internet. So for example, if you were to connect from one computer to the other, it will actually show you how many times it went from one computer to the other and then fr from the next computer to the next computer and so on eventually to the destination. So it goes through the internet between your computer and the specified destination computer. It also calculates and displays the amount of time each hop actually took. The journey from one computer to the other is known as a hop, by the way. And the amount of time it takes to make a hop is measured in milliseconds. The information that actually travels through the trace route is known as the packet, right? So the hop, the time in milliseconds, and then the actual packet. So next, let me in fact demonstrate all of these commands. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the command line tool. So once I have the command prompt open, all I have to do is just make sure the cursor is blinking and you can open up your own command prompt. Just simply type, for example, the ping command. That's the first one I'm going to show you. So just ping, for instance, I can either type an IP address if I know the IP address of the destination computer. Or I can use the name. For example, I can use www.google.com 
or any other website and the DNS service is going to resolve that name eventually to the IP address so let's go ahead and do ping space and then just the URL or the website address for instance so I'm gonna go ahead and do google.com hit the enter key and it's going to ping Google shows me the IP address which is 221.120.207 and .29 and then shows me by replying that it is actually reaching the destination and a reply is being received from google.com shows me the ping statistics also the packet sent for received for so it's a perfect connection next is the ip config so let's go ahead and do ip config and of course i can just do an ip config by itself or i can just use other such as forward slash renew all and so on so first i'm just going to type ip config and hit enter key and what this would do is show me the actual configuration of my own computer which is the ethernet adapter the wireless the bluetooth and so on and of course all of these ip addresses are also being displayed based on each connection so here's the ip address for the specific dns suffix for example this is the wi-fi local area network adapter here's the ethernet adapter for the virtual box and then finally the actual ethernet adapter for the virtual box host only network so this way you can actually take a look at the number of network connections on your own computer so let me go ahead and clear out the screen next i'm going to run the tracer command so this is tracer and then it's of course space and then i can use any url for example i can use google again www.google.com and then hit the enter key and what this is going to do is again try to reach the google destination and making hops from one ip address to the other which means from one host to the other to the next and eventually to the actual IP address of Google which is 221.120.207.29 so it tells you the actual time in milliseconds and of course the number of hops you can actually count and eventually take a look at how long it actually took to reach Google so these are the, the basic commands that you can actually take and run on your own network the basic IP commands just shows you the various diagnostics if you need to run diagnostics on your network maybe one computer is not responding or you get an issue from the user saying I cannot connect I cannot connect to the network I cannot connect to my printer on the network for example or I cannot send an email within the same network so you can simply use these IP commands to check and here when the trace route is complete it tells you that the trace route is completed and gives you the details of each hop so practice with this. I hope the basic TCP IP commands help. And let's move to the next lesson.